Scientists work to understand every facet of our world. They are working to understand how pieces of our world are created, whilst also wondering how other components erupt and disappear. From the most minor atomic structure to some of the most significant systems in our galaxy, we find new discoveries all the time. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three new discoveries. Quantum gravity could emerge from a holographic universe. Physicists have searched and searched for a unified theory that can connect Einstein's theory of relativity and quantum mechanics. The former describes our world on a large scale, whereas the latter describes it at an atomic level. The unified theory, called quantum gravity, would combine these two and include a macro and microscopic explanation of nature. A research team from the Chalmers University of Technology in Sweden and MIT in the US have worked together to discover a possible holographic model of the universe that might make this connection. Robert Berman, professor at the Department of Mathematical Sciences at the Chalmers University of Technology, says, Using techniques from the mathematics that I have researched before, we managed to formulate an explanation for how gravity emerges by the holographic principle in a more precise way than has previously been done. To understand the holographic principle, it's necessary to understand the idea of curvature of space-time. The space-times, which is a mathematical model that combines three dimensions of space and one dimension of time into a single four-dimensional curved surface, can have positive, zero or negative curvature. Space-times with negative curvature have an edge that includes more than three-dimensional space-times called anti-de Sitter spaces. The holographic principle states that any theory of quantum gravitation in an anti-de Sitter space is equally encoded on a, low, on a lower dimensional boundary to the region. In other words, to probe quantum gravitation, a highly unknown object, we can study a slightly simpler object instead, say scientists Charles Marteau the simpler object being the lower dimensional boundary. In Einstein's general theory of relativity, gravity is defined as a geometric phenomenon. Just as a couch can curve when faced with a person's weight, heavy objects can bend the geometric shape of the universe. But even the empty space, according to Einstein's theory, has a rich geometric structure. Basically, if you could zoom in on the empty space or vacuum area on a microscopic level, you would see quantum mechanical fluctuations, or ripples, known as dark energy. This new idea may bring us new ideas about why and how these microscopic quantum mechanical ripples occur. It may also bring new thoughts about the relationship between Einstein's theory of gravity and quantum mechanics, which has eluded scientists for decades. Daniel Person, Professor at the Department of Mathematical Sciences at the Chalmers University of Technology says, these results open up the possibility to test other aspects of the holographic principle, such as the microscopic description of black holes. We also hope to be able to use these new connections in the future to break new ground in mathematics. A star 4,566 light-years away has just erupted. A star from the constellation Ephucus has erupted, and even though the star is about 4,566 light-years away, you could have seen it with the naked eye. The star, RS Ephuci, was shining seven magnitudes brighter than usual. Nova, or the eruption of a star, are extremely rare. This nova was even rarer, as it was a recurrent nova. This means that this star erupts periodically. Only 10 of these stars have ever been found in the Milky Way galaxy. RS Ephuci last erupted in 2006, so it was due for another nova, as it usually has one every 15 years. But what causes these eruptions? First, it's important to know that RS Ephuci is a white dwarf binary star. Because it is a binary star, it is in close orbit with another star. In this case, the other star is a large red giant. As the two stars spin around each other, hydrogen is drawn off the giant star by the smaller dwarf star. As the hydrogen accumulates on the surface of the white dwarf star, 
it heats up. As it heats up, the pressure and temperature can become too much, resulting in a thermonuclear explosion called a nova. If there comes a time when the white dwarf planet accumulates so much mass from the red giant, it may become unstable. If this happens, it will explode in a type IA supernova, which will end the binary relationship between the two stars. But that has not yet happened to Iris Afukai. The small star is still spinning around its red giant. Scientists predict that it will be another 15 to 20 years before the small star can build up enough hydrogen for another nova eruption. This means it will likely occur in the 2030s. One of the most extended gaps between the novas happened between 1985 and 2006, with a 21-year gap. This means that the next nova could happen over 20 years from now, but then again, it could also occur in the next decade. The longest gap was from 1907 to 1933, a 26-year gap. Every star eruption teaches scientists more about our universe. Powerful hypernova 10.5 billion light-years away from Earth is the most distant star explosion ever observed. The most distant star explosion ever observed occurred over 10.5 billion light-years away. If we think about the speed of light, this means that the light from the hypernova has been traveling to us for about three-quarters of the time the universe has been in existence. Novas occur when stars erupt. Supernovas are heightened versions of novae. Supernovas were not spotted until about a decade or two ago. Supernovas can be caused by many things, like the quickly spinning corpses of long-gone massive stars or the infall of material onto neutron stars. This new supernova is now known as DES-16C2NM. It was first spotted in 2016 by the Dark Energy Survey. This international research effort aims to better understand the mysterious force thought to be responsible for the universe's accelerating expansion. Lead author Matthew Smith of the University of Southampton in England said, It's thrilling to be part of the survey that has discovered the oldest known supernova. It is extremely distant, extremely bright, and extremely rare, not the sort of thing you stumble across every day as an astronomer. He went on to explain that the ultraviolet light from the supernova tells us more information about what might have caused the explosion in the first place. Study co-author Mark Sullivan said that now they know how to find these objects, they will begin to look for them using the Dark Energy Survey. The Dark Energy Survey is a project that started in 2013. They used a camera mounted to a telescope at Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory in the Chilean Andes. Their original intention was to study 300 million distant galaxies throughout the cosmos. However, this new discovery will provide critical information in the study of supernovas and will aid researchers in their exploration of novas occurring farther out in space. Scientists are constantly adapting and developing how we see our world. This helps us gain brand new ways of understanding and explaining our universe. It helps us understand and make sense of unexplainable phenomena and embrace the unknowns around us, both inside and outside our galaxy. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please help us grow this community by liking and subscribing to our channel, and thank you for watching.